past the immigration office on the Malaysian side and are currently walking towards Brunei. The gentleman in the counter told us it's one kilometer, so it's not that bad. And we just we just saw first two soldiers on the Brunei side and they were really happy to see us. Really excited. Welcome to Brunei. We just crossed the border with Brunei. The people on the border itself were really nice. They asked a lot of questions about us, but not like in the aggressive way. They were just curious and everything went smooth and good. It's our first day in Brunei, like the first full day, because we arrived yesterday in the evening. Our host gave us a tour around the city. The tour lasts for five or ten minutes in the car, and he said that that's it, that there's nothing much to see here. Here, everybody has a car. We read that there are more cars in this country than people. And you can see it everywhere because right now there is no sidewalk. We are on our way to the beach and how do I say it? The first thoughts about the, the country, it's so... Oh, well, it's definitely artificial. There is nothing going on here. Today we are hitchhiking towards the capital, so we are going to the main street right now because the highway is like 5 kilometers away and of course we are not walking there. So hopefully somebody will give us a ride to the highway and then from there to the capital. They told us that in the capital people are even more restrictive when it comes to the clothing. So this is the first time during this trip I'm wearing pants. Oh, thank you. All right. Okay, everything, thank you. All right, so we are in the capital. The guys told us a lot about it. On the way, they showed us like the main attractions here. And yeah. It was very easy to hitchhike here and it's quite easy to hitchhike in whole Brunei so we are really surprised well, he said it's okay to wear shorts for me and even for Magda I don't think we'll try that but you don't have to be like all covered that's for sure we saw already tourists here and they have like t-shirts and it's all right This is the second biggest mosque in Brunei. <clears throat> we want to go inside and we came here half an hour ago and we couldn't go inside because there were prayers. It looks like we came too early. People are kind of surprised they cannot go inside, that the doors are locked. But I think it's because of the celebration. Right now we arrived for the second time. And there is a bunch of tourists already. Finally, we're getting our coffee for today, so I'm really happy right now. 
what do I think about Brunei? Well, it's very complicated, I would say, because it's, it's one of the wealthiest countries on the planet. But on the other hand, I feel like, like for example, right now we couldn't pay by card. Many restaurants don't accept cards. I'm not talking about just foreign cards, not accept cards at all. So how much to the other side? One dollar each. All right. Oh. Yeah, it's very slippery. It is. All right. Okay, help. We just arrived to the other side of the river and we are in a place called Water Village. We took a water taxi with this gentleman and it was only one dollar each. So actually it's the best deal because you can go around, there's a bridge, but it's kind of far away. And you have quite many water taxis here so you don't have to wait actually at all. And the water village on this side of the, of the river, it's one of the main attractions in the capital of Brunei. But I think that the biggest attraction in Brunei is here. Woo! I didn't know. <laughs> it's illegal here. Uh-oh. Even a gym here. There is nothing particular to see here, but I think it's a nice place to visit. If you are in the capital of Brunei, you should definitely come here, at least for, I don't know, half an hour stroll. Well, we read somewhere that it's the biggest village located on the river in the world. So that's something, right? This is the biggest mosque in Bandar and actually in the whole Brunei. This is also the highest building in the country and there is even a law that you cannot build anything higher than this mosque. Unfortunately, due to some religious restriction we cannot go inside today and it, since tomorrow we are leaving Brunei we will not go inside at all but at least we can uh, take a look from the outside and from the outside it looks really nice It's Friday morning and it's time for us to leave Brunei. We are heading towards Kota Kinabalu in Malaysia. At 7 a.m. we just started to hitchhike and hopefully we'll reach the place today. The Google says it's like six, seven hours of drive and you have to cross the border three times. Yeah. But I'm sure we will manage to reach the destination today. Even though you will not find many tourist attractions in this country, people here are extremely nice. I think they are like the nicest people I have met during all my travels. This is it for today. Thank you for watching and make sure to click the thumbs up if you like the video.